So you're tired of being stabbed, smashed, slashed, and bashed by the grafted scion at the beginning of Elden Ring? Well then you're in the right place, because I'm going to show you everything you need to know to defeat grafted scion hitless in the next five minutes. First we'll talk about general tips and strategies for the boss, then we'll cover the set of moves you need to know to avoid getting hit. After that, we'll talk about where you can safely attack. Finally, we'll put everything together with a complete fight. For this fight and most fights, positioning and patience are required for success if you don't want to take any damage. We want to maintain a medium distance from Grafted Scion, just far enough that their quick thrust attack doesn't hit us. While at this distance, we run right and left to provoke attacks. When an attack has an opening, we react and immediately reset to a medium distance. Getting greedy with multiple attacks can work, but Scion has rare fast attacks that are very hard to dodge if you overcommit on hits. Grafted Scion has many moves, but we can avoid most attacks if we know how to respond to them. First up we have the big combo, which hits up to 8 times and has openings for attacks from behind and a parry repost. We love this attack and spend most of the fight trying to bait it out. We'll cover opportunities for damage later. The Scion will sometimes interrupt the third and fourth hit in its big combo to attack with a quick thrust to keep you on your toes. If you've maintained the correct distance, this should miss you. If you get hit, you're too close and should maintain slightly more distance from the boss. While you're watching out for the big combo, Scion mixes in an attack that looks somewhat like the start of the big combo but can close more distance and hit you if you're unaware. This move can be identified by seeing that the Scion's legs are moving more than usual. Next up, the Scion will stand on its back legs and raise its arms over its left shoulder before beginning a forward roll with four slashes that hit 360 degrees around the Scion. For this attack, move in the opposite direction of the Scion while backing away. Like the breakdance slashes, the Scion will rotate 360 degrees, slashing four times, two times at the start of the rotation, and another two at the end. This attack should be no problem at our medium distance, just move away and in the opposite direction that the Scion is moving. When the Scion feels generous, it will give you a set of stomping stabs followed by a short jump attack. You can avoid this attack by backing away slowly and waiting, or you can try to time an attack for when the Scion lands if you want to add more damage. Another generous attack is the Jump Slam. Scion lowers its weight, holds one sword in both hands pointed directly up, then jumps and lands near the player's position about a second later. Wait about a second after the Scion jumps and roll to dodge this attack. Perhaps the most frustrating move Scion has is the Jump Slash. Scion lowers its weight and raises its sword in its right hand over its left shoulder, then jumps toward the player slashing 180 degrees in front of it. The problem with this attack is its deceptive reach. Scion's initial upward trajectory looks like it will land short of the player, but moves forward quickly while descending to strike. Dodge this attack. Every once in a while, Scion will stand upright on its back legs and take a stance with one sword above its head and another at its side. This indicates it is about to unleash a furious combo attack, and you have to identify it on the fly. For the flurry attack, Scion will lower their weight and quickly lunge at the player when in an upright stance. Once Scion lunges, you should roll back three times to make room for the flurry of incoming stabs. Rolling three times helps ensure you're safe, even if you're close up when the attack starts. For the tornado attack, Scion will stand fully upright and raise two swords above its head, one pointing to the sky and the other pointing to the earth. It then rotates wildly toward the player for about four rotations. If you move away when the Scion is upright, you should be able to outspace the attack with little trouble. Now that we've covered the various attacks Scion can throw at us, let's see where we can deal damage. When you enter the boss arena, it's possible to strike Scion when it lands before it can attack. Run into the room and jump when you reach the circular part of the path, landing a jumping R2, then roll back and away and wait for the first attack. Probably the quickest way to end this fight is by parrying the Scion and scoring reposts for big damage. To do this, bait out the big combo, then wait for the third slash to pass you and run toward the Scion to parry the incoming fourth attack. The fourth attack is delayed generously, giving you plenty of time to get in position. Thanks to Scion's long arms, you can also parry the attack from a reasonable distance. Each starting class, except Wretch, 
has a shield capable of parrying, but some are better than others if you're not a parry pro. The Thief class has the best parry frames with its buckler small shield. Any classes starting with a small shield are very doable with average reflexes. Classes starting with medium shields require precise timing to make work. If you can't get the parry timing right, don't worry, you can roll behind Scion and strike from behind, but it will take more time and patience. To do this, bait out the big combo, then saunter backward until the 5th and 6th sh attacks come at you. Roll into the attack and circle the Scion to its right. At this point, Scion will do one of two things. Continue with subsequent attacks in the big combo, or stop attacking and choose another move. If the Scion continues its attack, you can circle it and strike once, then roll away. If the Scion stops its attack as you circle behind it, you need to immediately back out to avoid its rare fast attacks when you're close to it. Now we know everything that we need to defeat Crafted Scion. Let's give it a shot with the Samurai class. And that's all you need to know to defeat Grafted Scion without getting hit. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this.